I got the skull from Dollar Tree. Styrofoam. And the welcome sign. Also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the welcome sign. I have some larger ones, but because I moved the room around my office around, I don't know where I put them. So, and it's easy to come off. So, there you go. That's how quick. Removed them. I have these stands. I have they door they knob doorknobs. I was looking for something bigger, but I didn't find anything. So I'm going to add them as stands, as a stand. Okay, I'm going to paint this white. I'm trying to do the checkerboard in this this black one I bought at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to give it about two coats of white. That's it. So I'm going to try my hand on checkerboard. I did it before. Again, about two coats of white. That's it. Okay, I finished. And I'm going to paint the skull like a vanilla. I don't want it just white. I didn't videotape myself coloring it. We all know how to color. So that's the color I'm going to color this way. Okay, so what I did here, I drew the lines. I'm trying to draw the lines so I can make the checkerboard. So I started already. So it's just taking the, the ruler and just making all my lines correctly. And how I measure the distance or the width of it, I just keep adding on that. The... The paint stick. There you go. Did it. Now time to paint black. But I forgot I had this marker both from Dollar Tree. So I'm I, I'm gonna try this, which is quicker, gives me better lines as opposed to painting it with a brush. That's my new best friend right there. I have been doing it with the brush. It would have taken me a long time to do. This this was done quickly, believe it or not. Now look at this. Make sure to pick up this mark. I got it in gold, silver, and black. Look at this. Neat. Came out very neat. Now I was going to paint brush it. I'm not doing that with the marker. I'm doing that with the with the paint. And I'm still debating whether I want, you know, if I find anything bigger than these two little knobs. I'll I'll put it on. You see how the yellowish the skull. I'm gonna give it one more paint, another coat, and that's it. See the difference? I want to get something to elevate it. I don't want it down straight. But again, this is the paint I use to color it.
I only needed one coat. This black paint from Dollar Tree, it takes really good to whatever you're coloring. But again, it depends on what you're going to use as far as your stand. This dries up really quick. I think no, a minute. This is going to take a little longer. You see how nice it looks? I'm going to keep this white. So look how really nice this came out. I'm going to keep the edges white. I like the look of the white on the edges. Now, you see the color? Two coats. Now I'm going to paint the inside black. I'm not using the marker. I'm using paint. And that's the paint I'm using from Dollar Tree. And you need to take your time because you want both sides to be the same size of the black. You know what I mean? That's why sometimes I don't take myself because it'll take me a long time and that would just be a waste of footage you watching me paint. So I'd rather pause the camera, take my time and do it correctly. And this black takes really good to the styrofoam skull. I only needed one 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 coat. That's all was needed. See? There you have it. All done. Looks Ooh. spooky, right? <laughs> so you see, you have to take your time when you're doing this because you want to see sure everything is dried up already. So sides. what I want to do, I want to so do I'm something with the teeth. Something with with the teeth. That's what I, I wanted to do. So I'm cleaning up the brush as much as I can. And I'm going to outline it. Very lightly. See? Okay, I messed up. I messed up. Man down. What the heck I was thinking. I went overboard here. I don't know what I was... What the hell I was doing. I'm not feeling it, but you know what? I'm going to leave it like that for now. Until I decide what I'm going to do. So you see my little hat? He says when I do for St. Patrick's. I put a couple of them a couple of years ago. So this is how I am going to do my hat. I took it apart. took the stencils out. I got black material. So let's try to wrap this baby here. I got a piece. What am I looking for here? Oh, there you go. This is the quickest way to cover a hat. Okay, I got it. I put that sponge on. I got enough that I can fold it, overlap it, and glue it. You see? Like a pimp. So what I'm going to do is glue.
glue it, but glue it inside the edge on that first row. And I'm going to go all around. And hold it tight so it could, well not hold it tight, but hold it for a couple of minutes. You see how I did? So it can stay glued. Just want to pause here so I can show you how's it coming along so far. All that is going to be cut up. You see, that's the edge I'm using to group the material to. And hold it down so you can make sure that it stays. I think that's where my hands be hurting. So I've been holding on too tight, like. It's going somewhere. Okay, glued and cut. I used a very small knife, um, scissors I bought from Dollar Tree. You see? Oh my God, every time I look at those teeth, I'm mean, like, what the hell I was thinking. I want to tilt it more to the front and the sides. Like a pimp, not like that. So, I'm still, uh, after I do everything, then I find what is it that I really want to do with these teeth. They're not stained, that's for sure. So, if I just give them a coat of paint again. Oh, Lord, what I was thinking. Okay, guys, I couldn't take it anymore. I gave it a coat of paint. Those teeth were, like, staring at me intense. So, I want to lift. The skull, uh, I just don't want to lay it flat on the, pl on the plate. Just to say, you know, I want like a little, I want to elevate it a little bit. You see the difference? So that's what I'm going. I took, um, yeah, much better. So what I did was I took um, tumblers. I took the little wood boxes, but um, I, I wasn't. So I'm debating whether I want to keep it on three tumblers and one in the front. But that's too high. That would have been too high for me. So I'm just going to keep it on two tumblers and one in the front. Okay, I made up my mind. I'm going to keep two in the back and one in the front. Just to elevate it a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm still not feeling those little knobs at the bottom of the wood. I feel like it needs something bigger than that. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue these two ones on. I'm going to tell you something. I'm editing my, my videos. And it's a lot of footage. And it's just not getting to the point. I don't, I'm, I'm going to tell you that I don't want to see a video 
through the whole process of I just want to see the important parts to the video and there's a lot of footage that I, I didn't need so I got my first two there and now the bottom the chin part rather see you see all that time taking just to put that one piece of tumbler there. <laughs> it's a lot of unwanted um video Okay, it's glued on. Again, I'm still looking at these these little knobs. So the fun part begins. Time to decorate the hat. You see, seek and you shall find. I got these about four years ago. I ain't know what the hell to do with them, but you know what? I know what to do with them now. Look. That's my stand. <gasps> Much better, right? I'll be right back. Let me cool them. Oh, well, I was fortunate enough to find another one, so it's for them. I found one in the bin. And it's much better when it's for. You get to see them. Give me a cup of coffee here. You see? So now to decorate the hat. You see these ribbons? I have ribbons. Every time I buy ribbons, this is what I do. I take them off the stool, fold them up, and put them in a Ziploc bag. Um, for every occasion. I got Christmas ones. I got Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter. It takes up less space. It's not taken away from how you fluffy you want it or anything like that. No, that because that, that be, not, that's when the wiring comes in. So these were a little too big for the hat. So I have I had to improvise, improvise. I had I, there you see. What I did was, let me take out the purple one. I took the wiring out. I cut it rather, which is the edge, which is the black part. And it still felt like it was a little too big. So what I ended up doing was cutting it in half. I didn't need the wire, so I was okay with it. So I'm trying to see where is it that I want to place this bow at because it has to go correctly when I put this hat glued on because once it's glued on, that is it. There's no going back. Okay, here you go. I got other pieces. I got this checkerboard one also. But I kept the, I, I kept the width of that. So I'm going to glue this part on. Right there, let me mark it. Because what I want to do is once I glue it on, I want to open up the bowl. I just don't want to leave it flat like that or just down. I want to open it. You see? Just like that. There you go. And open them up while you're holding it down to glue. You're going to dab the back of them 
so it can stay open. I'm going to say open, not wide open, just side open. You see how it looks right now? That's how you want it. You want it to be kept like that. It want to be kept like that. When you cut it, it becomes a little stringy, but I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to add the dab of glue just to keep it in place. Because once you start moving it around, it'll start to go back to rotation. Not rotation like in the road. And I don't want them. I want them open. Just When I say open, this is what I mean. Because I'm adding on that, that black and white checkerboard. I want the purple to show. And it's just a small dab. That's it. And hold it. Okay, there you go. In place. That's how I want it. Now the goodie bag comes out. Let's see what we have in this bag. A whole lot. Anything that has to do with glitter and Dollar Tree, it, these, these are the pieces I cut. I keep them so in case I gotta tie something together or twist something together. Unfortunately, the the downside to Dollar Tree and its glitter, it be all over. You gotta like spray it. But I have all of this. Okay, let's see how this looks. Let's cut that piece off. I'm just trying pieces to see it. Definitely that piece, is, that bow is going on. But I just want to, I hate to glue and have to take off, especially when it's material, because it leaves a white looking piece of steam. These are little garlands. See? You have to feel it first. I have to feel it first and make sure it looks. You see? Ain't that stinking cute? I have to feel I have I have to vibe with with the pieces I do. I'm just feeling which what what looks good. And again, I go back and forth and put it on the on the skull to make sure it looks good. Or what angle should I put it on? So okay, let me start doing this piece. This is a powerful glue gun. You just need a small tack to it. I'm going to add on the checkerboard. That checkerboard makes a big difference when you put it on. When you glue it on, you see? Just hold on to it, make sure it glues. Okay, I'm starting to dig it. I'm starting to feel it now. I'm going to make me one for me. I'm going to add this piece right here also. Just to give it a little to the side. Okay, let me see how that piece looks. Anytime I put a piece, of course, I'm going to put the head back on the skull to make sure that I like the way it looks. That's a definite. I forgot to add, I wanted to add that around the rim, but 
Thank God I didn't because it would have looked too much. It would have been I it would have been too much. So that part, uh, nah. Now if you want to add a rim to it, or you know, not a rim, a, a ribbon around the rim, it's you could. I wanted to use that one, but luckily I forgot it, and I thank God I did because he didn't want to look right. I'm start. I'm still trying to. No. Nah. Mm. Uh. Uh. If it was black glitter, yes, I would have left it on. But it's not. Look, and here I am trying to. No. Nah. Uh. Uh. You want to keep it like the purples and the black. Don't get me wrong. The black and the the white and the black skulls would have been. But not nah, not already after I put all this. I really like these garlands, especially if you break them up and put them into certain places. Okay, just hold on to that piece until it goes up. So it dries up rather. Oh, I'm daddy. And I gotta keep an eye on myself when I think I'm recording when I'm not. Because I'm doing it for my phone. But I added on the little cherry blossoms on top. And I'm gonna add these pieces also to it. And again, it's just getting the feel of um, how am I going to incorporate. Yeah. Incorporate those two on this hat. Okay, I glued it. There you go. One thing I do regret that I didn't let the rim show. You know, because as you're doing this and as you go, that's when you notice like, oops, I should have done it this way. I want the I want these little pieces to stick out. So I'm trying to see how I'm gonna you see? I'm really feeling this hat. Let's glue this piece up. Let's take a stick out. Okay, there you go. Now I have to cover the bottom. Because I don't want the tumble to show, but I'm still trying to figure out. I don't want to add the purple flower because then it looks too girly. You know what? I should have bought. I think I only bought one. I could have made a bride one. I'm going to find me another one. I'm trying to see how could I incorporate this green in there also, but I don't know. So what I end up doing, I put the purple pumpkin glittery up there. You see? Trying to see whether I want to put in a another one on top. Still, so I want the hat to be the focus of this skull. But I'm definitely getting one, another one so I can make a bride one. It's 
to you. Yes, I'm going to add it on. I'm going to put this pumpkin on next to the other two striped ones. I'll get another glue stick. Yeah, that's a difference. Remember, it's all about the hat on this piece right here. It's all about the hat. You see? You want to make that hat stand out. That's the focus of this piece. Now, I got these black flowers. Because remember, I have to cover the bottom of this. But I think when I do the right one, I'm making black with white eyes. What do y'all think? Leave a comment on the comment section if y'all want me to do a bride one. I want to see how many people get to see this video. If you want me to make a bride one, I would definitely do it. As a matter of fact, I'll go to Dollar Tree tomorrow. Hopefully, I got another skull. I'm trying to incorporate this big flower at the side because remember, I have to cover the whole bottom because of the the tumbler. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start doing the flowers at the bottom. My daughter said, look, cute in a little girl's room. In a girl's room, not a little girl, but a girl's room. When I do the bottom piece, the stand, I'll probably make it white lace. But I'm definitely making a bright one. I'm putting the bigger ones at the side and the two small ones in the front. That's what I'm trying to do here. I was trying to be so picky and so choosy. But my pieces wouldn't look the way they look if I wasn't so choosy. <laughs> Okay, I'm adding on my last small single flower. This is the last one. Oh, not the last one. See? How cute! So now let me see where I'm going to put this one because I want it at the side because I still have to cover the side to it. Let me see where I'm going to put this at. Here you have it. I put the little pumpkin in the front. And I just love it. <laughs> I really do. The, the, I, one regret. I should have made the round part a little wider so I could see the rim, the rim part. So I can see that. I was looking at it to see where I could expand it. But you know what? I'm even not even going to mess with it. It looks very good to me. 
But other than that, I just love it. Look at that. Guys, thank you so much for those thousands, a thousand subscribers. You know, it took me a long time to get there, but I got it. I'm grateful. Thank you for those that are very dedicated and watching my video. Please don't forget to share, comment. Let me know if you want me to do a bright one. I am willing to do it. Really am. Um, share, comment. But... I am truly grateful, and you see the teeth still shows. But it looks, I love it. I have, I put the Christmas on um, tree, the, the Halloween tree, so I believe that's going to be my next project. Um, and I don't know what's going to be my next project, but I'm trying to take this, all of the Halloween decor real quick out. Again. Thank you to my 1,000 subscribers until our next video. And thank you for watching Crafting and DIY with Nora.